Hello guys, a British Fox here, today with another video on cards. Now I'm going to be using my new build, which for now is still going under the name of Operation Axis, and as you can see, once loaded it in, it's working. Now I also plan to be doing videos on some of my past decks, so that way you get the code, but keep in mind that my deck list is constantly evolving, so some of the older ones are getting replaced, so some of those deck list codes I will never be able to get again. In those videos, it should show the cards used within them, and the battles should give you hints towards the main cards. Now, into combat, as this is going to be a grinding video today. Now, it's still likely going to be unedited by the time you see it, if you're one of the early viewers, which, thank you for clicking on my content early. Um, and I'm just going to keep on talking, even though this is likely going to get cut out if you're one of the late viewers. So we're still here. Hi. I hope you enjoyed the video. Always as I said, like, like, comment, subscribe, it helps me, helps you, they'll cycle positively, as YouTube would probably put it. Which I do like to. Um, even if really, really, really constructive, it's helpful. Okay, so, you're facing against Silver River, and that's a unique name and a half, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to be with Panzer Grenadier, Fox Grenadier, Auto Cannon, and Tactical Strike. We don't need any of these for our first turn. Okay, so our first turn play shall be Enemy Spotted. That way, if he does just blitz in with a Japan card, for example, as Japan tends to get paired a lot with um, Germany, we can counter it. And that way, if he does deploy a unit anyway, we can bring out the Arado to draw an extra card. But no play so far. So bring out. Ooh. I think it's best we still wait. Because I want to capitalize on our move, so. We'll wait for his play. Okay. Now this is just the best time, really, to bring out the former Shiga. Probably does have a card which can take her. He still was rather late on, but going on the offensive with his build. I'm assuming it will be aggro due to it being Germany. Good play. But there are always counters. Now, what is he going to do? As his base is exposed, and I could do 6 damage damage to it next turn alone. Which is quite powerful. He could deploy... Oh, he's using the Henschel to get the joint tops. Good play. We'll bring out you. We'll bring out the infantry regiment. We'll do enemy spotters, another one. So I feel like he's going to use this as a block. So make sure either gets the 5th infantry regiment in the front line. Now, if he does do that move, we're set for cards. If he does blitz in, we're set for cards, as said. Yeah, he's blitzing again. And he's deploying a wasp. <sighs> we are. We just gained all the cards there. <laughs> Only prop. Only little, 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 little prop. It's still gonna die. We kill the wasp, and then we're gonna use our rado as a frontline securing troop. That way we can buff this once it goes there. Now we have more cards in hand, which is pretty good. We might just deploy an Africa Regiment next time to get some quick damage. 
but he's yet to show a heavy, heavy vehicle, which is an odd to see. Okay, good use. No, have I still had that? <sighs> Dive bombing, that would have been helpful, but... I don't think he's going to expect me to have the first marines, then bring it out, then bring out another 5th infantry. Now we are saving our later game cards just in case it brings out a good tank for example. Uh, you could have tigers, you could really have any decent tank. Which is a bit scary honestly. Okay, he's going for that. Annoying. But we can deal with it. I mean, it's still gonna die, but... Yeah, I, I can't really say, oh, he didn't do well with that move. Now, at least four cards on that. See how risky his, stra his strategy has become. With his front line, and then we are going to bring out the Arado, that way we draw an order. It's tactical strike, and maintain our superiority, and front, and just general board control. And soon we can bring out the 4th infantry, for example, or 4 credit infantry units. Okay, is he going desperate or is he going to deploy a little panzer freeze? No, he's doing that to buff that. Okay. So I think it's best if we finish this off, bring out a panzer grenadier. And then we are going to bring out the 81st Infantry Regiment. Now, if he does remove the Panzer Grenadier, we can sneakily use the 17th Infantry Regiment to buff my 81st so we can kill the. Is it Former Schäger? Yeah. 3rd Former Schäger. This might have a buff for it, so. No, nope. he's got artillery, which isn't too good at this point in the game. Another Panzer free. Got some good tanks, but he's... I don't know why he's in... <sighs> I will always question people in this world. I will. This can still live. It's fine. Because he isn't going to be controlling the front line much longer after this. Bring out more Panzer Grenadiers. Now I hope to get my other Panzer 35T so I can take out the pack, but he's not going to be gaining more cards easily. But we aren't either, so really be careful about that fact. Yep. Okay, Silver Revenge. Watch your grand play. You got a Hedgehog, a Pack 36, and a decent tank. Yeah. Oh, he's got a West. I mean, it's going to be targeted immediately, but. Yeah. Oh. Staying on 5 credits. Cheeky. That, that's how I'm going to summarize it. Because I know he's going to be using. The dreaded, as I put it, entrapment. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice the 17th Infantry Regiment. I'm certainly not allowing it to kill my units this early on.
So, one of those cards is Enchantment, we need to keep that in mind. And the other two are Unknown. It's hovering over. He's targeting my base still. Does he have Bismarck? Nope, he surrenders. Well, that is victory with our Jonah build. New level. And time for another battle. That was a fun little match with the Operation Axis build, and we shall continue grinding it. As it's becoming one of my new favourites. Now, this is probably going to get cut out. If not, then you can accept the silence. Silence can be quite nice. Instead, golden, but. Yeah. I'm going to ask if there's any suggestions you want to make, put them down in the comments below. Helps me and allows me to give you what you want. For example, okay, we have Japan, likely going to be a blitz build, kind of scary, but we'll keep that in mind. But he is a corporal, and there's a reason he's got that ranking, and it likely isn't good. We're going to keep this safe for later on, this is always good for later plays, and we'll be the first marines. And we're not going to do anything for now. If he does have the 15th cavalry, we can just quickly use dive bombing. For now, we are going to bring out the former Shiga. Then we're going to use the 17th Infantry Reg Regiment to move to the front line. I feel like he has missing, which is a bit annoying, but I'll have to just, just find out. No. Okay, well this is going to be interesting. Does he have no play for now? Does he not have, like, Sun Strike? Okay, so he's shuffling through his cards. He knows he actually has to make a move now. <laughs> Ooh, he lost his Sendai. Yeah, I, I, I kind of called that a loss, but... Yeah, I'm going to quickly take back the front line. 2-3. Then I'm going to move these seven teams to the front line. He's using his pretty expensive cards. I mean, that was still a kind of good play of it, but... I guess he's going for more of the attrition game. Still, we shall attack him. And we shall strike back against his plays. That probably has a meter. No. She knew. She knew's are fun, but you know... If I have two side bombing... Kinda waste, kinda not. Actually, we're just gonna do it for this one alone. Bring forward them, um, and we'll keep these two. British turn, then we've got the Africa Corps. You might have another Chinu, they are pretty good cards. Let's see, he's shuffling, okay. He might have a zero? Yep, zero right there. Could have killed him, yep. <sighs> Blighter. Must say sound more British by the second. <laughs> yeah. But you know, that is the channel's namesake after all. You know, I sound more posh. <laughs> As I always was said to be. But let's see, let's destroy our enemies partially, shall we? Even though he's got... Got a kind of upper hand due to his higher value units. I haven't got my Pans Grenadiers yet. Or my, um, 81st Reg. It's perfectly time, but he's thinking now. Have fun. Uh. I think the best play to do here would be to use dive bombing. Attack over this, that way we get the random damage effect. Yep, there we go. Kill it off. Then bring the first marine to the front line. That way we protect our HQ. If he does kill it with the zero, 
then we just hope for the random damage effect of a 4 6 bird. He's got some pretty good cards. I was hoping on that frontline regiment to give me some cards, but not really. Two regiments. Why did he not do any play? Okay, we're gonna attack for weakest. I feel like he has entrapment. But I don't think I've seen any giant cards. No. He, he seriously just ended his turn. I am confused, but thankful. Was he waiting for, for like a to the last man? Now we just need to get a tiny bit more damage, because if we do, we can actually win here. Is he just AFK? Hmm. Rifkowski might have just gone AFK in this case. Well. Victory is ours. Kinda illegitimately, but you know. One man's boss, sort of a man's treasure, in this case. And we level up with Germany to get a gold version of Carlos Talk. I mean, if you really want to brag to your enemies about your kind measures, I guess it's fitting. And we've reached 10 gold, so that means base pack opening time. Very, very exciting, but then. Um, yeah. We shall open up. Limited. Standard, standard. Okay, nothing major. Uh, well, our crate is getting more full, which means we will get some wild cards soon enough. Which shall make things a lot more fun. And that will shall make for a good video. As uh, our channel has just reached 1000 views, so thank you for helping me with that, and also 21 subscribers. Uh, I mentioned in the comments below of my last video, but I do plan to be doing streaming soon. Of course, I need to find a platform, then I need to get the good equipment for it, as a laptop cam isn't really the best. I want to ensure quality for the videos. Ugh. And of course, a better mic may be in order, as if there's a tiny sound in the background, I am awfully sorry. It's just that uh, incidences with misplacing this thing has left it slightly frazzled, I think would be an accurate term. Okay. We're facing against Christian here. Very fun. To be doing more combat. I'm gonna remove the Africa Regiment, keep the former Shiga, remove Tactical Strike, and remove the 980 Fox Grenadier. We don't need these plays that late. We need a quick play, like the 4 6 third. Okay, so he's got the 16th Rifles. We're gonna get the 5th Infantry Regiment out. Get a quick buff for it. Now, what's this play? Sadly, I have nothing like Bully Sickle to quickly take this out. The closest to that would be my dive bombing. Okay, we got our Leopold early. That's nice. So we'll keep this, but we need to make sure it doesn't get discarded at all. So we can afford to do attacks with these, and then bring out the former Shiga. Or we could just attack with the 5th Infantry, then bring out the former Shiga, but I don't want to be killed by this. Ooh, Zukov. Good card. Kinda of unlucky. And Kachushka. Which again, kinda of unlucky. I'm hoping the second strike. Yep, okay. Bring out the former Shiga now. He probably is going to be using these 16th rifles soon enough. That's why we're going to be bringing out. Yep, look at that. How surprising. Is he going to buff it? Or is he going to. Ah, Kachushka. Well, that's a bit annoying. And we only need to bring out our 980 Grenadiers. 
Yeah, that card's gonna get strong each turn. Oh, oh Patch took off. Okay, he's stalling me here. That's annoying, but due to it being a bomber, we can use the Arata to both counter it and get an order. Allowing us to get attacked or strike. Allowing us to kill it off. And if I could find a way to buff this one. No, it needs like... One of my 17th regiments to buff the Arado, then strike against the Kajushka. I can't do that now. He's just preparing for his like, backline plays. Which is a smart move, after all. Just gonna take the time to damage the base, at least. Eventually, this powerful card will be removed from the field entirely. How much is gained? Yeah. It's an interesting card, but I can see, like, why it's like that. It's basically constant mobilization. Which is a bit annoying. Okay, there goes my rider. And now he's bringing forward all those. I think our best play will be to bring out the next Panther G. That way he can't just all his mouse. And then go against the 84th Regiment. That card is going to get stronger by the turn. I mainly bring out my Fox Grenadier, actually. Nah, uh, Panzer Grenadier would be the best one in this case. So by the time he goes down to my base, he is going to be having it out. Ooh, that's that's fun. Yeah, I, I needed that today, didn't I? Ugh. So we're gonna go on the offensive. With these, we're gonna bring out a Volks in idea. And then we're going to let him advance with these. Then we're going to Leopold them. Because he's probably going to deploy some strong card now. From the people, good play. He's basically got two 8-8s, eight which is scary. Scary indeed. And Ura. Oh, snap. Okay, that's... Right. He's not... Is he? Okay, he's gonna be advancing that. Uh, too bad the Leopold exists. And if he's gonna, if he's gonna use his Kachushka, um, you are gonna use the 3.75 buff by the 17th Regiment to quickly counter that. Okay, rifles. I I'm not so sure how what to think of that. We bring the first means forward, and then we're gonna bring out the Panzer Grenadiers. And he's probably already had his like frontline collapse basically as. He can't quickly get out all of those good units. I do suspect that you could have enough one of these, but... As long as we can strike back easily, we're good. Okay, Cuban. Please sickle. Is he just going to scare me with that, or does he have another 4? I don't... Ooh. Red Banner. Okay.
they're going to deploy the Panzer 35T. Suicide against this, kill it off with this, bring forward the guards in there, then buff the Panther G as it can't be targeted. And we shall wait for his play. Ah! As I like to call it, the Russian Death Ridge. Men of Steel. Okay. I think it's best that we just attack the base. Not really much we can do at this point. And unless you can find a way to kill the Leopold, yeah, he's dead. And victory is ours. Another enemy surrender. The, basically the third one as our enemy AFK last time. Well, that was a successful session for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe as always. And always remember, and most importantly of course, have fun. Bye for now. Hope to see you soon.